am getting up kind of late. I typically get up early, like at seven and it's not quite seven anymore. I had a busy night, but I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and my hair is coming out or came out up under the little cap that I had, but I put my hair in some twists and I'm just going to uh, go ahead and put it up in a quick bun. I want to go walking when this is over with. That's like the plan, but it gets so hot here so fast until, you know, if you're not out the house and doing what you have to do at seven, <laughs> then you can best believe, and you can even see the sun, the, the lighting is going to be changing. Um, as we talk and you just you just see the sun kind of doing its thing, but it gets hot here. If you don't do what you have to do early in the day, you can forget about it. You're going to be out there sweating. So hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm going to um, again do my hair. You know, I have these uh, pictures up that I have posted on my um, shower and my mirror. And I just wanted to show them. Do you all ever like, um, if there's something that you want, be it uh, anything, if you want a new car or a new house or something, or if you want to get back to an ideal weight, do you post a picture of it somewhere? So anyway, I have these pictures of me when I used to be like really small, uh, like my baked weight, as some people say. Well, actually, I was smaller than this when I met my husband, but I had these little pictures. I don't even know if you can see them. If not, I'll just have to um, insert them somewhere and I'll post them up <laughs> on the mirrors <laughs> to remind me, hey, girl, you're on a mission. OK. All right. You're on a mission. <laughs> so, yeah, I do that. Um, this morning, I'm just going to as far as skincare, I'm going to keep it real simple like simple, simple, and just use two products. Speaking of simple, there was, I had a subscriber years ago and she commented this on my video. She, she said that, you know, I'm just going to have to unsubscribe from you because you used to be simple. You know, but now you're just you're just not simple anymore. You're just doing the most. So I'm just gonna have to unsubscribe from from you. I used to have people people would just tell you anything. They will. They just tell you any any anything, and I'm like, okay, I guess. I mean, and I think it was a video where I don't even know what I was doing. I wasn't even doing the most on the video. I guess she was like, I don't. I have enough of you, Bridget. Can't take it, girl, because you're not simple anymore. I think some people take the name like literally. Um, I was watching um, uh, the Style Doctor. Do you all know who that is? Well, anyway, I watch her. And um, if I'm not mistaken, okay, I saw where she was talking about her name and she was like, y'all, I'm not even a real doctor. That's just, you know, my my name, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I love her. I absolutely love her. But I said all that to say, I think sometimes, you know, people take our names like, like literally, you know, or the name of the, at least the name of the, uh, the name of our channel. But in real life, I do keep it simple. It's like, you would not believe how simple I keep it. <laughs> I keep it so simple. <laughs> but yeah, oh my goodness, that sun is like, it looks like it is like super blazing. I know it's going to be hot. Woo! Hot, hot. But yeah, I want to get out of here and I would like to go to the park and walk. Um, although in my dreams, I'm doing that. Here lately, I've been having some real bad pain in my hip, and sometimes walking isn't all that practical. But yeah, I think I got this little bun down. I might redo it. I don't know. It depends on how it's looking in the back. I can't really see. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. I'm going to wash my face using my Elements Pro Collagen Engineering Marine Cleanser. And I know you're like, girl, I'm tired of hearing about your skincare. Hey, I love skincare. I got to tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Let's see. 
And I put that. It's it's weird having the, the thing like that. I don't really see where to put it. But anyway, this is it. I'm going to wash my face with this. And I'm going to use my Biosense uh, Squalene Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. I'm going to do that. I'm going to brush my teeth. And yeah, I'm going to be out the door. In theory, I'm going to be out the door. We'll see what happens. <laughs> You're like, girl, aren't you supposed to be walking <laughs> or doing some type of exercise? It's hot out there, y'all. It is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Super hot. So I wanted to come and talk to you all about some new skincare that I've been trying. And I know you all are like, oh my God, I'm so tired of hearing about skincare. But you got to listen. You really do have to listen and hear about this new stuff that I've been trying. Um, some of it is from Polish Choice, Youth to the People, and Go Pier. And, and I can already see the light going in and out. I got a window right there and a window right there. So just excuse that, please. I'm not the best uh, vlogger. I think the last time I vlogged was when I first uploaded my channel. I had like a weight loss journey type of thing and I would chat on my way to the park about something and then I would film myself going around you know walking around the park but outside of that you know I'm not some people have it down to a T so work with me now so anyway I'm gonna tell you all about this um, the first thing that um, I have is by Polish Choice and I don't know if you all like Polish Choice I think that she has some good products and I've talked a little bit about some of her products. I have the new 5% uh, niacinamide body serum. This is it right here. And this stuff is, it feels good on the skin. It's like really um, uh, thick and hydrating. It almost feels like, uh, well, it, it feels like a serum, but of course you're putting it on your body. And I love it. So y'all are going to be hearing more about that. So far, I like it. Now, as far as, you know, the claims, what it can do and what it can't do, of course, it's going to take me some time to be able to determine. But, you know, uh, we'll see. I also have their the niacinamide 20% treatment and it's for all skin types. Okay. And it comes in a bottle like this. All right. Um, as far as you to the people, they have this um, new cream that's out and oh, I love it. I love it. This feels so I use this every night, every, every night. So this one strengthens, firms, moisturizes. It's got uh, plant proteins, biotech and collagen. This is a polypeptide 121 future cream. This is it right here. This stuff is so good. I love this. I use it every night. As soon as, whenever I finish with this, uh, has no scent, which y'all know I like. Whenever I finish with that, I'm buying some more. And then the last thing I wanted to show y'all was um, I'm trying out this. It's like a trio set from Go Pier, but the one that I'm really concentrating on that I like is, um, or that I'm using so far, is their Brightening and Evening and Even Serum. So these are all the serums. This is the brightening and even 
brightening <laughs> and even serum. They also have a firm and lift and a hydrate and smooth. So uh, for sure the brightening, for sure the brighten and even serum and the hydrate and smooth one. Um, love those. Love them, love them, love them. But yeah, um, you know, as far as, again, going back to me walking in the park, you know, <laughs> I had good intentions. I always have good intentions. When I wake up, I like to wake up early and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 this. And I have all these grandiose ideas and things like that. And never, nothing, nothing ever happens. I always end up staying in the house or whatever. So as you all can see, I have my fiddle leaf fig tree back there. This tree has been making an appearance in my videos in the living room. And when you, when you saw the tree, I had pretty much just bought it. And you know how when you first get a tree, they'll have it like tied up in the middle, uh, all the branches. So it'll be like, uh, stick straight up. Well, I kind of, you know, I cut those off and now they're kind of spread out, but I want to propagate. I think I'm saying that correctly. The one of the leaves and the way you do that is you, from my understanding, you cut one of the leaves off like close to the, I guess, to the uh, stem. I know I'm not saying that correctly. You cut it off, you put it in the water and let the roots grow. And then from there, then you replant it. So I'm going to do that today and I might try to get up out of the house. It gets so hot in Houston, um, at least 100 degrees. OK, it's just hot, hot. I was watching a blogger and she was talking about how hot it was. And it was like in the 90s. I'm like, the 90s is good. <laughs> I'm like, hey, in Houston, we've been in the hundreds, the hundreds. It, it's, it gets that hot a lot of the times. I'm drinking some raspberry tea. This is it with some ice and some ginger ale. Let me go get it and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is it right here. This is the HEB iced tea sugar sweetened tea mix. And this is the raspberry. Oops. I'm about to make a mess. This is the raspberry flavor. And then I mix it with, instead of water, I use ginger ale and those two mixed together are so good. So yeah, do y'all see my shirt? I don't know if you can see my shirt, but the shirt that I have on is Free People. Are you all familiar with? I love their clothes. Their clothes are so stylish and cute. Well, anyway, I bought this top, right? Okay. And I bought these kind of tops and I bought this top to, you know, wear working out or just over, you know, a workout tank. Ooh, sorry about that. So anyway, I'm gonna stand up. It looks like this. Okay. But look at, look at the back. So I can't figure out how the back is supposed to go. Do y'all see the straps? I don't even know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it took me forever to try to figure it out. And I think I have it on correctly because there's no other way to wear it but it's just kind of lopsided and it's funny because when I first bought this top I bought a couple of tops that are you know like this really you know loose fitting dangly or whatever and I was showing my daughter and she was like mom I don't think you're supposed to wear it like that <laughs> she was talking about like with a tank or something and I'm like okay I'm 50 years old dear I you know work with me I'm doing the best that I can you know if you're a young person of course, you can probably swing it without a bra or some kind of thin something, but I have to have something to cover up my stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my clothes in the dryer and then I'm going to fold my clothes. What else am I going to do? Um, I don't think I'm going to cook today. I don't think I'm going to cook. So yeah, I will be right back. All right, I'm back, but now I am folding the clothes and I know you're like, girl, are you going walking? Are you going to exercise? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still working on it, but I'm folding towels right now. All of them are white. Let me know when you all uh, wash your towels, do you all put Purex in your white towels or your sheets or anything like that? 
I do. I always have. I just kind of got that from my mother. I feel like it's needed to kill germs. And I think that um, I know some of you may be saying vinegar does the same thing. I think vinegar does the same thing. I'm not sure, but I put loads of bleach or Clorox, the kind that kills all the germs. I have to put that in my, do you hear that? My watch. Are you out this? Uh, my husband bought me this watch. Uh, the name escapes me right now. I'm going to put it on the screen and I love the watch. I really do. It's just so many things that you can do with it. And I don't know all the things that you can do with it. I know you can talk on the phone with it. You can answer your phone. You can, it's also got all kinds of apps and it's got this little apps app where it tests your, it tests your stress level. And that's one of my favorite. I'm always checking that <laughs> to see if I'm stressed. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's so much more that I need to learn. But anyway, back to the tiles. I put Purex in my whites and especially my white tiles, my white sheets. And I'm just always washing towels. Always, always. Probably because, um, and I'm sure you all do this too. Um, I just tip my family. We just use tiles once. Just use it once and then put it in a dirty hamper and, you know, get a clean one. So that's probably why I'm always washing uh, tiles. Got to keep those clean. But yeah, let me know. Do you all use Pyrex in your laundry when you're washing your whites? I used to work at a prison years ago. Okay, back in 1998 in Beaumont, Texas. Okay. And there was a, a captain there, uh, or was he a sergeant? Something like that. Okay. And he's, he told me that he used to bathe in bleach water. You know, he said he felt as though he needed to do that to, you know, because he worked at a prison, you know, he just didn't feel clean. I had never, ever heard of that. Somebody actually bathing in bleach. Now, it wasn't a lot. It was like a cap full, but still bathing in bleach. So, but anyway, I thought that was very interesting. But yeah, since we're talking about cleanliness and bathing and things like that, just wanted to share with you all my scent of the day. This is the Prada uh, Floral fragrance. This is it. it. Smells really good. I love it. I like putting it on if I go to the gym or if I'm going to exercise only because it's a very strong fragrance. Okay. Not that I'm trying to knock anybody out, but you know, smelling me, but I feel like, and this could be weird thinking, you know, when you go to the gym, you sweat, you start to stink, you know, you go there, you don't go there stinking. Okay. <laughs> you go there, you know, normal. And then I figure if I just put on some perfume, you know, when I start to stink, it won't be so bad. I know that sounds crazy. I know. I know my thought process is probably weird. But anyway, that's why I wanted to put on that one. It projects. Um, it's a very concentrated, very strong fragrance. I like it. And it does kind of remind you of flowers per se uh not roses or anything like that but um jasmine i don't even know the notes i'd have to put the notes of it on the screen but i like it and i think it works well with my body chemistry you know how some fragrances once you put it on it smells good in the bottle and then you put it on and it absolutely turns into something else it's definitely not like that. So, yeah. Have you all seen um, the uh, new Skims? And I know I'm late. I'm super tardy to this party. But evidently, uh, Kim has Kim Kardashian has a new line called Skims. Have any of you all bought any of that line, or have you all have any of you all bought any of her skincare? If so, what do you think about it? You know, I, I, well, let me just say this. Okay. So on one of my videos, I, I told you all that when I'm kind of interested in something and I want to research it and things like that, I'll go to the website and I'll see, I was looking at her skincare 
and it is expensive, but she's got a lot of good stuff in her skincare. Am I going to buy it? No, but <laughs> I was surprised. And, you know, I think my next question is, is it really in there? But that's just me giving her a hard time. But yeah, I was like, I saw one product. I think the first thing I looked at was an exfoliator. And then from there, I think I looked at a toner. And from there, I mean, she had all kind of good ingredients in her skincare. So I don't know. I think that I've said before when people are brands that are not, you know, uh, skincare, they, if that's not their um, focus or specialty and then they come out with something, I kind of feel like it's a cash grab. That's just my opinion. I could definitely be wrong, but um, I will give her that. I mean, she, she was doing it. I mean, I didn't see stuff like fragrance, alcohol. She had the fatty alcohols, which are, you know, good for the skin, but the drying alcohols, I didn't see none of that. I mean, of course I didn't look at every product, but the products that I, you know, saw, they looked to be decent. All right, so I got all of my towels folded all nice and neat. Need to go put them up. See, they're all white. They've all been washed with bleach. I got a little tees here and a sheet. When I'm washing my clothes, I like to use the Tide Oxy Odor. It's the Ultra. It's the Tide Ultra with Oxy Odor Eliminators. This one right here. Woo. Right here because... I have a teenage boy. <laughs> okay. And then I also like to use the Downy April Fresh. The Ultra Downy April Fresh. What does it say? Three times freshness. Anyway, this is it right here. So that is what I use to wash my clothes. I'm going to put these clothes up and I think I'm going to leave. I'm actually going to leave the house and go. Y'all, I am definitely on the struggle bus, okay? I don't have the proper mount for my camera. So if it seems like <laughs> all of my stuff is going everywhere, uh, that's because it is. That's because it is. I guess I could take that. Anyway, um, so I feel like I probably talked y'all to death so far i'm just going to go to home depot i want to buy some um some either some seeds or some little bitty plants because i have some um uh, like uh, old containers well not really old i just finished up some body butters and i don't want to throw them away you know I want to just kind of pot some little plants there and put in my my kitchen window. Oh, no, you're not. You should go bring your butt on out of here, huh? Anyway, um, in my kitchen, it has like a, one of them windows that, that kind of stick out. I don't even know if they make those kind of windows anymore because my house was uh, built in the 80s. But anyway, and I want to put the plants there. And I also want to propagate um well do the steps to do that with my fiddle leaf fig tree that you all see speaking of that tree if y'all ever see you know you all see it in the videos and if you see it in different locations that's because i have it on rollers okay and i like to use it as a prop <laughs> okay uh so yeah i'm gonna go to h uh home depot and we're going to look around at some plants and I'm going to see what I want to buy. And after that, I'm just going to end the vlog. And depends on how this vlog does, you know, I'll do another one or more, you know, or not. I don't know. It depends. So, yeah, off to Home Depot we go. And it is so many people out here. It is quite, it's stay crowded over here where I live at. Yes, I know that's wrong. <laughs> it's, supposed be, it's supposed to be where I live, not where I live at. So where I live. So crowded. So, so crowded. Is my camera on my way? 
Yep, it's moving. And it is so hot. How hot is it? Does my can Oh, it's only 96 today. I just knew we were going to be in the 100s. But we're not. But we're not. I need to do some other things while I'm out, too. I need to get my eyes checked. I need to go to the grocery store. Well, I don't need to, but I'm going to. <laughs> I don't need to, but I'm going to. I hate coming over here to H -E uh, I keep saying H-E-B. Home Depot because these people drive crazy. These, where I live, these people drive, people drive crazy. And it's always some people out here waiting to be picked up. You know how when you go to H-E-B or Lowe's, you see the men sitting outside, I guess waiting to, whatever, be picked up to go work on something. And the other day, me and my husband, when we were leaving, they was waving us down. I'm like, we don't need no work. We in a, <laughs> we in a car. We in no truck. But anyway, oh my goodness. Do I have a mask? <gasps> Did you hate it? When, do you still wear masks? Do y'all still wear masks? Let me see if I got some. <sighs> okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's see, I think I got something over here. Bring my glasses. Probably don't need it since I'm not going in the store and be outside. I'll probably be all right. But anyway, knowing me and my look, I'll pass by somebody and somebody will cough on me or sneeze on me. Let's see how much money I have to spend. Let's see if I need to call my husband. Let me see. Oh, okay, I was going to say <laughs> somebody. Somebody been in my wallet. I'm like I know I am more than five dollars. <laughs> oh well. All right, people. We're gonna go at home depot. See what they talking about. And after that, I will see you all in the next video. Okay. I'm gonna do my intro as my exit since I didn't do it at the end of this video. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you're new, consider subscribing to me. I do makeup, videos, skincare, sprinkled with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So, yeah, if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. So, I'm going to go in here, and after that, I'll see you all later. Smooches.